Good in has more on the investigation. Just a mile away from the Kern County Sheriff's Office in Oildale on Friday off of Castaic Avenue, according to KCSO, they're currently investigating two suspicious deaths that occurred just a few miles apart from each other. On Saturday, we spoke with several neighbors, but only one was willing to go on camera, and he says they're terrified. It's scary to see that down the street, you know, across the street from your house. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not um, everyday thing you see, you know, the police like that and. Since Friday evening, the Kern County Sheriff's Department is actively investigating the ongoing case of four people who've been found dead under suspicious circumstances and in two unrelated instances. According to the Sheriff's Office, the deceased were found just a few miles away from one another. And Eric Urena, who lives in the area, says the neighborhood is devastated. Well, I thought it was sad. It's sad. It's just, you know unfortunate situation. KCSO told 23 ABC News on Friday that they want to assure the community there does not appear to be a threat or danger to the neighborhood and they share that their homicide detectives are working on both cases. Adding that a second crime took place earlier Friday at 12 17 p.m. where KCSO found another suspicious death scene near El Tajon Avenue where two more people were found dead and Urena adds he's lived in this neighborhood for three decades and he says he's worried for all families involved. There's no words I could say, that, you know, but uh, sorry for the loss. Urena says he does not know the victims from the Castaic Avenue personally, but shares they would occasionally speak and offer a friendly wave to each other, adding that his kids went to school with the neighbor whose home he believes belongs to one of the deceased. Wave, you know, good luck because he has race cars. The dad has a race car, and I would always say good luck, get that W. KCSO adds that these deaths are not gang related and no information about the victims or how they died have been released as of Saturday. But the sheriff's office says the public can expect an update sometime next week. And again, this is still an ongoing investigation according to law enforcement, and we will keep you updated here in a line at turn to 23.com. In Oildale, Leslie Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you.